Morning all, welcome to Diary of a Herbert. Today's video is uh, about clearing the weed hatch or checking the weed hatch. Um, we were out recently for uh, a couple of weeks and on the return journey uh, something went through the prop. No idea what, but it managed to slow down Thumper, um, but she went back to normal after a couple of seconds. But there's a bit of a vibration, so I've got a horrible feeling something went through the prop rather than is wrapped around the prop shaft. But there seems to be a bit of a vibration in there. So I'm going to have to get down into the weed hatch and uh, sort it out. So um, watch this space because this is going to be a right royal pain in the Harris. Most normal boats have an access panel or hatch in the stern deck so that you can get straight down onto the weed hatch. And cruiser sterns are even easier because all you do is lift your deck boards and whoopee, there you are. However, this is Herbert we're talking about. I have no access hatch, so these are the steps down into the boatman's cabin. And there's the floor. So all this little lot has to be taken out so that I can get access to the weed hatch. Oh joy. That needed dusting. Right, that's that bit done. Now all the boards and steps and all the rest of it's out of the way, you can actually start to see some of the gubbins. The big black bit you can see with the universal joints on it, that's the prop shaft that comes all the way underneath the cabin floor from the gearbox. That there is the stern gland, which uh, takes the main prop shaft out to the propeller. And there is the culprit. That is the weed hatch, surrounded by paint. So now we need to get that off. So on the top, you can see there's a big T handle. So what I'm gonna do is get a mooring pin, because that's the only thing that'll undo the damn thing, because it's that tight. Get a mooring pin, undo it, and then comes the fun. Last time I was working in here, the uh, cable tie that is in centre of shot, the yellow one, uh, hasn't been finished off very well. I was ripping my arms to shreds. I came out with scars on my arm, so um, that's going. All right, here we go. <laughs> As you can tell by the panting, that's the locking bar off. God, that was tight. I think the uh, locking bolt needs a bit of grease. Now, I've just got to lift that beggar up and get it out of the way. And by the look of it, the uh, ceiling tape is well squished. So I might have to replace that as well. Why is it never one job with a boat? In we go. Oh God, there really is no room at all in here. As you can see through the murk, there are the propeller blades. And I've just been in and checked them all by hand, had a good feel. There's no dents, no bits of missing out of them, which is a good thing. Also, the propeller shaft itself is nice and clear. So nothing wrong with the propeller, thank heavens. So that's saved me a good few hundred pounds because if I needed to replace that, I'm probably looking at about 700 pounds or so, possibly more for the size of the propeller that it is. The mess that is weed hatch tape. You can see it's uh, really, really thin here. It should be quite thick, probably about uh, at least a 16th of an inch, uh, three, three mil, I believe, if uh, we're talking metric. Holly, you're not really helping. I know you like being in the videos, but you're not helping at all. You do not know how to inspect. So that really needs replacing. However, I've just checked and I don't have enough. So I need a trip to the Chandlers to sort that out. Oh well, it's only mine. Get on there.
done. So that's now all buttoned up and uh, the T-bar has been, as you saw, done up with a, a mooring pin to give it a bit extra torque. So uh, in polite circles, it's called red face tight. As an engineer, what we call it, there's two, two big torques. One's T and the other one's FT. I'll leave that to your imagination. Apologies for the poor camera work downstairs. Uh, unfortunately, I can't get the tripod in there. I can't get any lighting in there. So I had the uh, camera resting on a paint pot. And of course, as things bang around, things move. So there you go, short video. And that's how I check my weed hatch. And as you can see, it's warm work. So uh, there's a cup of tea in the offing, I think. Once again, thank you ever so much for watching. Thanks for liking, subscribing, you know, everybody's brilliant. Take care, I'll see you soon.